So today I wanna to talk about nutrition a little bit. One, eat less unprocessed food. No. One, eat more unprocessed food, which means less processed food. Number two is to notice when you're full and stop eating. It takes your stomach at least 15 minutes to tell your brain that it is full, which means once you eat slower, you're more aware. Food provides your body with energy because your body converts whatever you eat into glucose. Glucose is a simple sugar your body and brain burn for energy. So did you know that research has shown the optimal amount of glucose to have in your bloodstream is around 25 grams, about the amount of glucose in a banana. Say you're like me and you still want to drink your cup of coffee. In the productivity book by Chris Bailey, coffee actually borrows energy from later on in the day. Sure, you drink a cup of coffee, you get that caffeine boost, but then later on you're gonna crash, which means you another cup of coffee, another cup of coffee, another cup of coffee, and say every morning you have a cup of coffee, which I do. Your body then gets used to the amount of caffeine in one cup of coffee, and you need double the amount. You need two cups of coffee to feel it, three cups of coffee, and so on. It's really irritating to me because I love my morning ritual where I have coffee. However, I started to maybe think we'll do half and half decaf or regular, or then switch entirely to decaf because it is draining my energy without me even knowing. Later on in the day, I will be less productive. Eight to 14 hours after you consume the caffeine, it still is within your body. For some people who have the caffeine, you know, at 3.30, four o'clock to keep them throughout the day and wonder why they don't sleep at night, well, that's probably why, because you had coffee too late in the day, you didn't realize how long it was gonna be throughout the evening, then it keeps you up at night. See? Adenosine. Adenosine. Adenosine? Yeah. Adenosine. We'll go with that. Which tells your brain when it's tired, caffeine prevents your brain from absorbing this chemical. You naturally have this within you and then caffeine just kind of puts up a wall and it's like, nah, you're okay. And then you end up crashing no matter what. So the chemical just keeps building up until your brain eventually lets it absorb it again. Say you're like me and you still want to drink your cup of coffee in the morning. What time would best beneficial for you? Well, that all depends on when you get up. For me, I get up, well, I wake up at 7.40, get up for breakfast or for my coffee, breakfast and coffee at like nine. To consume caffeine between 9.30 and 11.30 is the optimal time. That is if you wake up between six and 8 a.m. So an alternative, you may go to green tea, which has a little bit of caffeine, just not as much as coffee, or matcha. Matcha is also amazing if you want the health benefits of that. So I wanna make you guys aware of a few things here that your brain makes up just two to 3% of your body mass. However, it burns 20% of the calories you take in. That's some food for thought. 